Every 50 seconds, a foreigner crosses the UK border to settle in Britain. That's the fastest rate in history. A record 636,000 people moved to live in the UK last year. And when you take account of the people going in the other direction, net migration was 330,000. Now, that's the highest figure ever and well over three times the government's official target. Home Office ministers have often condemned Labour for losing control of immigration when Tony Blair was in power, promising that Conservatives would get net migration down to the tens of thousands. In fact, they never got close. They repeated the pledge in the party's election manifesto earlier this year, but today they were forced to try and explain why it's now ended up at record levels. Uh, yes, a challenging time with flows of uh, people across Europe on a level that we haven't seen since the end of the Second World War. But it is that focus on net migration that matters because of the pressure on public services and clearly what matters to the public. Although migration from outside the EU is up, arrivals from Europe are the bigger driver, putting renewed pressure on the government to negotiate a change to free movement rules ahead of a referendum on EU membership. Now, there are many things the British government can do to get a grip and get this under control. And at the moment, um, it represents abject failure and it shows, frankly, we are borderless Britain. So who are the foreign arrivals? About 49% are people from the European Union, 51 from outside. Of the EU migrants, two-thirds are workers and almost a fifth are students. From the rest of the world, more than half are students, a quarter are workers and a sixth are family members. Of the total, though, just 4% are asylum seekers. It's desperate refugees banging on Europe's door that's helped make immigration the number one concern for voters. And yet business leaders were today calling on ministers to lift the cap on foreign skilled workers. The Institute of Directors said the Prime Minister's policy was punishing business and the CBI said the government's approach was not fit for purpose. NHS employers have also said the cap on non-EU graduates was leaving the country dangerously short of nurses. Many people worry that actually it's mass immigration that's putting real pressure on the health service. Actually, the reverse is true. We know we are recruiting nurses from outside the EU that were struggling to get into the country in sufficient numbers and in a timely way. That's causing real pressure on our services and it's causing many hospitals to worry about their ability to open services this winter. And we're calling on the government to add nurses to the shortage occupation list. The government finds itself simultaneously attacked for not allowing enough immigrants in and for allowing too many. Mark Easton, BBC News.